Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48. If this resonates with you at any time, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not personal. So anything I say that doesn't resonate with your story could very well resonate with another Scorpio story. So share the message. Don't be selfish, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't shoot the messenger. If this does resonate with you and you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, right now I'm only doing emergency readings. Just, just That just entails that your reading gets out to you within 24 hours. It's a way shorter turnaround time. So if you're interested in that, I do have several options on my website that you could choose from if you're interested. You can click that link in the description box. Also, um, if you want to shop my store, shop any of my handmade candles or any of my jewelry, that will be the first link in the description box, okay? All right, guys, so let's get started with your reading, Scorpio. Let's get started. I'm going to get your advice first, and we're going to run into the tarot. All right, Spirit, give me some advice for my Scorpios, please. Give me some advice for my Scorpios moving into the next 48 hours. What's their advice? What's their advice moving into the next 48 hours, Spirit? What's their advice moving into the next 48 hours? Give me some cards. All right, we got some cards for you. Let's see what it comes out. Your first one says your growth scares people who don't want to change, okay? So that you should just keep in mind, okay? Your growth is scaring people or scares people who don't want to change, okay? So that also goes for anyone who makes you tries to make you feel bad about you changing for the better. It's literally because they don't want to and they wish that you would just stay stuck or stagnant with them. This one says it's up to you to find the beauty in the ugliest days, okay? All right, so that's your advice for the next 48 hours. Let's jump into the tarot. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpios for the next 48 hours. What's your energy? Let's see what's going on with you guys, Scorpio. What's going on with my Scorps for the next 48 hours? Get some cards. Queen of Cups, okay, super your energy. What else? Looks like you're gonna be very emotional. The Emperor, okay, but not too much. Hmm. So it's almost as if you're emotional and you quickly switch out of it because you have to work or you feel like you have to be serious about a certain matter. Okay, we're going to see what this is. What else? Anything else for Scorpio? Okay. Hmm. And then you have the four of cups here. So you're literally trying to ignore a situation that makes you very emotional. You feel like this is... Um, you feel like it's very hard to do. You have your guard up. The nine of wands is here as well. Hmm. Has to do with someone that you're very familiar with or even reconciling with someone with the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is here. Hmm, it's interesting. Looks like you're choosing to ignore a situation and move forward, but you this really this makes you very emotional. So let's see what's going on, Scorp. Let's see what's going on with you. What's the Queen of Cups? Give me the Queen of Cups for my Scorpios, please. Give me the Queen of Cups. I see a urn. I don't know why I see a urn. Okay, with the Queen of Cups, I see an urn. So, and the Emperor is coming out again. Are you dealing with the Aries, Scorpio? Okay, looks like you have a lot of emotion for this Aries. Also seeing an urn, guys. So someone could have passed recently. It could have been an Aries. Or you're deading something with the Aries. Like you're closing off a cycle with the Aries. It makes you very emotional. What else is here? This could also be about work, too. Maybe, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, okay. Hmm. I feel like the Aries is coming to give you love, but you're being very stern with them. Or are you choosing to ignore this Aries? What's the, let's see. What's the Emperor? Clarify the Emperor, please, for Scorpio. All right, you have the lovers and the six of swords. So it looks like the Aries wants to heal things with you. Or you want to heal things with the Aries. Knight of Cups, please. The death card, but you're not allowing yourself to, okay? Or someone you love could have recently just passed and you're, you're choosing to heal from this or move past this. Even though you're not ready, you really need to feel your emotions for this person. But it looks like you're over this person. Or this person literally passed away, okay? So if that happened, my condolences to you guys. 
um, because I'm seeing that you're struggling with being in your emotions about this. If this is you literally just closing a cycle off with someone that you really care about, it looks like it just hurts a lot. It's really painful. But you're choosing to just be practical about this with the emperor coming out twice. What's the emperor? What's the emperor? Queen of Wands, okay. Hmm, what else? Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Five of Wands, what is this? Clarify this Queen of Wands. All right, you have the Four of Swords here as well. You could be in separation with a Sagittarius or a Aries Leo. But it looks like you still love this person. So it looks like you're trying to be serious or practical or logical about someone that you love. You're holding a grudge against this person or you can't let this person go for pentacles. What's the four of pentacles? What is going on, Scorpio, in your world? The knight of pentacles, okay? So, you, you know, you, you're, okay, hmm. It's like you're slowly releasing this person. What's the two of cups? The ace of pentacles but you you also see yourself settling down with this person or you thought this person was going to be in your life forever you have the empress on the bottom as well what else is here the magician i feel like whoever this is that you're slowly releasing you really love this person and you've seen a future with them okay with this aries or you're just being very very cold towards this person very serious you're like i don't really have time for emotions so it's like it's almost as if you start to have emotions for someone and then you quickly dismay that or you quickly just say oh what what am i feeling right now no i'm not doing that i'm moving forward so you're trying to ignore this so this is how you're treating this you're just ignoring your feelings for this person even though they're pretty strong scorpio is what i see with the four cups you know four cups please the star card it could also be an aquarius it's almost as if you want to heal things with someone, but, you know, you're coping. It's like your coping mechanisms. What else is here? The Queen of Cups. You are very emotional over this person. Some of you guys are picking up, like, like, um, why am I hearing hallucin 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 hallucinogens? Hallucinogens? But, you, you know, you could also be smoking a lot of weed or drinking a lot to forget about this person. Clarify this Queen of Cups again. You're like repeating a cycle. I want you to know that. So you go from the Queen of Cups to thinking about being the Emperor. Then you become the Emperor. Then you think about being the Queen of Cups again. So it's like you're repeating this cycle. So you go, you flip in and out from being emotional to being stern to now allowing, not allowing yourself to feel emotions for this person. What's the Queen of Cups? In reverse is the hangman. Okay. So it's like you're really trying to tell yourself you're no longer stuck on this person, but I, it kind of feels like you are with the hangman. <laughs> with the, like, okay, you're trying to tell yourself that you're not, but I feel like you are with the star card. Some of you guys are like, can you shut up? <laughs> Some of you guys are like, listen, I'm trying not to be stuck on them. Don't tell me that I'm still stuck on this person. What's the star card? What's the star card? Yeah. The King of Cups. Okay, so you're just managing your emotions very well over whoever this person is. You're just managing your emotions very well. You're very well put together, Scorpio, at least on the outside, okay? Between me and you on the inside, I know that you go back and forth in your head, but there's a reason for this. Let me see what, so yeah, you are in your head. You're kind of borderline obsessing a little bit, but that's okay because you know, that is a little bit of a, your energy is like possessiveness. It could be good possessiveness or bad. The seven of swords, it's almost as if you don't trust your feelings. You don't trust yourself feeling this way for someone. The ace, having all this passion for someone. This is really interesting. I'm going to keep going. Why the death card? Why the death card, Knight of Cups? Why is that? All right, Page of Pentacles. I don't know why you keep saying that you're not interested and you're moving forward, but you keep thinking about this person. So what is it, Scorpio? Honestly. Because it shows that things ended because you're no longer interested, okay? But it's like your, your next set of cards says... 
the two of cups, the ace of pentacles. So I'm like, huh? Why Why are you keeping your distance from this um, fire sign? What's the four swords? Why are you keeping your distance? Two of swords, okay. It seems like you guys always break, um, fight and break up. Like there's always, you guys, you guys can't seem to think on the same page. You guys have a difference in opinions all the time. It really causes a lot of arguments. So you're just staying focused on yourself. I see you watching this person. But you also feel like this person is not balanced. They give you an unbalanced relationship and you're not into that. So it's almost as if you're weaning yourself off of someone because you feel like they're not going to give you what you want or what you deserve. But you do actually wish that you and this person could work things out. But you feel the ace of swords, the truth is of the matter is that this person won't give you what you want. So you have to wean yourself off of this person. Or even to, I'm going back to this urn that I keep seeing. It's like, maybe you have to wean yourself off of someone because someone's already gone. Like it's already over the death card or someone passed and you're like, okay, it's no, it's no use in mourning, which I don't know why you feel that way. Oh my gosh. Maybe because you have a lot of work to do. The emperor kept coming out. I don't know, Scorpio. Mm, it's interesting. All right. So... Let's see something. You know, I see you doing a lot of ignoring and I did pull some cards for you earlier. This one here is the seven of earth. Okay, look at that. It's about um, being grounded for sure. It's about getting out into nature. Some of you guys are spending too much time on your phones. Some of you guys have no real connections to people right now or very few connections to people. Like most of your interaction with people is um, via like the computer or the phone. This is also about addressing what is stressing you, okay? So it's not about sweeping shit under the rug. It's really about addressing what's stressing you out. What is giving influence over the stress right now? And how can you address it so that it can go? Because the Four of Cups is like, you know, it's short term. It's not really a long term solution. It's like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna ignore this for right now, but it's going to come back up. So really getting grounded, um, maybe even staying off your phone. Because I see some of you guys are watching someone, but it may not be on purpose. It may just be like every time you go on social media, this person is posting something new and it's really targeting you. It's time to like put your phone down, get out into nature, get grounded. Some of you guys need to stretch more. I don't know why I'm getting that, but some like I'm hearing like you have back problems. Some of you guys work on computer or on your phone or online all the time you're always sitting down like so and your back is hurting so you need to stretch try a yoga routine in the morning okay i also don't like that you're going to ignore this and you're borderline the emperor because you know what the emperor to me is so close to scorpio the emperor is so close to the king of swords the emperor and the king of swords are kind of like you know best friends <laughs> Okay, and you do have the um, another card channel for you was the King of Air. And, you know, this is just for you feeling like, you know, being ethical, but maybe too ethical where you don't even allow yourself to feel. You feel like you can't compromise with yourself and feel these feelings because you have a lot of work to do with the Emperor. And that's fine. But I feel like um, there has to be a boundary too where you do put your mental health first. Okay. Some of you guys are too afraid to to move forward with emotions, but sometimes emotions can be good and healing to the soul. Um some of you guys also there's some people that are noticing this about you and they offer you some advice about this and you're too rigid, you're too stern, you're too ethical, you're too logical to take that advice when really God is is making this person come and tell you these things. The advice could be as simple as what I'm saying is to be in your emotions and you feel like you don't have time for that. Um, you might want to because when you ignore this pain or the sadness, it has it can fester up and conjure into something completely worse than what you're already feeling. So that's why it's good to address the stress, okay? All right, so enough lecturing for you. I know you're annoyed by that. I can sense your energy. You're like, I really don't want to talk about this right now. That's okay. Even if you are going to click off the video, maybe it's not meant for you to hear the message right now. Maybe when you're more open to receiving the message, you can come back and watch, okay? All right, so let's get, because I'm going to give you the message regardless. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care, Scorpio. I'm, I'm really your friend that's annoying as fuck, you know, but the one who really has your best interest that really cares for your feelings and your emotions and your stress. And I'm going to say what it is, okay? Last words for Scorpio. Last words for Scorpio, please. Last words for Scorpio before we move on to their homeboy, homegirl. 
I just care about you, Scorpio. I want you to be your best self. And it does make me sad knowing that you feel like you have to ignore your stress or you're using something to um, distract yourself from the stress, okay? That might not be in your best interest. It really does make me, you know, worry, okay? So that's the only reason I'm going to lecture you. But we're done with the lecturing. Let's get your last words. Kids, something with kids, something with kids, okay? Something about a kid, something about a kid could put a strain on you and someone else's relationship right now. That's for some of you guys. You and this person I could be talking about had great chemistry, okay? So this is why it's so hard on your heart, so heavy on your heart, is because you and this person had great chemistry. This person could have not even been your type at first, but you fell for them and you can't. And sometimes when you think back about it, you're just so shocked. Like, how did I even fall for this person? Oh my God. Okay, booty call. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. So that could be significant in your story. Maybe someone's going to call you for a booty call or you're calling someone for a booty call and it brings back all these unwarranted um, emotions that you weren't ready to feel. Spoiled brat. You could feel like this person who you're dealing with is a spoiled brat. Someone could feel this way about you. They could have said that to you. You could be dealing with the Libra and you can have Libra in your chart, okay? Something could be happening around Libra season, which I think is right after your season. No, Virgo, sorry. Before your season, after Virgo season. Blame game, okay? So you feel like someone did you wrong and they feel like you did them wrong and you guys can't come to a compromise, okay? I don't want to fall in love. Yeah, this is you, you know, pushing those emotions away. I don't want to feel these emotions that I feel for this person or anyone at this time, right? This person could also be blocked. You could have recently blocked this person or you've been thinking about doing this. What else is here? Yeah, it could have been a movie night or a Netflix and chill that you had with this person that you guys had that booty call moment. You could be dealing with a July Cancer or a Leo. All right, something significant could have happened in July. Okay, you could have this in your chart significantly. Moving on, you are definitely trying to move on from the situation. I feel that so heavily. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, Saggy the Unicorn. Let me tell you what's so creepy about these cards, guys is that I put this card in there double time by accident, right? And every time I pull this message, both cards come out. It never fails. It's so creepy, but, you know, here's the message again for you that either you think someone's a spoiled brat or someone thinks this about you, okay? All right, so let's get into your homeboy, homegirl now, okay? All right, Spirit, give me some messages, please, for Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl. Give me some messages, please, for Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl. What's their energy for the next 48 hours? What's going on with them? What's their energy for the next 48 hours? What's going on with Scorpio's homeboy, homegirl? Seven of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What else? The Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. The Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. We also have this um, Seven of Swords here. Oh, sorry, not Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, excuse me. And the Ten of Pentacles. You know what it is? This is really giving me Missed Opportunity vibes, but it's also giving me with the bottom of the deck being the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Someone's going to be able to reconcile this. So this could have happened in the past where you and this person had a Missed Opportunity or they missed out on you. You were the wonderful opportunity, right? And it looks like somebody is coming back to claim what's, well, this is going to happen. Like, I don't know if this happened in the past that someone missed the opportunity or this is going to happen right now, but it looks like someone's doubling back, okay? Now, with the Seven of Cups, okay, someone could have a lot of options, but they're not partaking in them right now. So if you're, if you're feeling like your person is being a man whore or woman whore, um, they definitely could have been in the past, but as of right now, they're not really looking at these options. It also could say, look at all these opportunities in front of this person and they refuse to take it. They're taking their precious time, the Knight of Pentacles. And with that being said, the fire can run out, the Ace of Wands between your relationship. You could lose interest or this person could lose interest. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? All right, so what is, what's the Seven of Cups here? Give me the Seven of Cups. Tinder song is playing? You could have met someone on Tinder? All right, what's the Seven of Cups? Queen of Swords, okay. Hmm. Is your person a know-it-all? It's Because it's a Queen of Swords in reverse. So your person could be quite a know-it-all. Like they have life all figured out. They could feel like their intelligence makes them smarter and better than people. You could have been dealing with someone who used to pick on you for being emotional over them. That's why you refuse to have emotions around them. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. But it's almost like someone picked at you for being too emotional in the past. That's why you're hiding your emotions from this person. Interesting. Very interesting. So someone was kind of a B-I-T-C-H in the past. This is why things ended. Someone thought they were a know-it-all. They Someone used to like tell you how to live your life like they have it all figured out and that's far from the truth because let me clarify this let me let me let me go ahead and um explain how they don't have it all together what's the queen of swords in reverse what's the queen of swords in reverse why is this person the queen of swords in reverse the five of wands someone has inner conflict you know how a bully and i'm sorry to call your person a bully but i do not like that queen of swords in reverse energy is very haughty it's very like oh you know my shit doesn't stink and it does okay the five of wands this person has inner conflict they're not even happy with themselves so this is someone who picks on others because of their insecurities okay not the best this is the person who taught you to be the emperor this is the person who probably bullied you to be the emperor, okay? Sorry. I'm sorry to use that bullying word, but the queen of swords in reverse is not a nice person. Okay, so with you're such the emperor. It's like you are too scared to even have emotions because this person, whoever this person is, really used to pick on you for being too emotional. Okay. All right. All right. Um, let's, let's, what's the seven of cups again? Give me another card. That's mean. All right, the Ace of Swords is here. Yeah, I'm, what I'm saying is true here. Someone try to make their truth your truth, your truth. So somebody felt like how they, like this person, you could not tell them that they were wrong. They would just use their intellect over you. This is also giving me someone who would be like, oh, well, I have a master's in um, so-and-so. So I know this. It's like, <laughs> okay, you know, Listen, we love the diploma babies, okay? But what we don't love is when someone thinks that knowledge equals being wise. It does not, okay? It does not. To be wise is to be open to all um, opinions, all advices, you know? That's what being wise is about. This person kind of shut out other people's opinions because they felt like theirs trumped others. And it's like, that's not right. So this could also be an air sign, okay, that you dealt with, a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but I really feel like somebody felt like their truth is their truth and they could see no one else's. This is someone who's very stuck in their ways with Ace of Swords. The death card, yeah. Someone is like my way or the highway. They can't see any other option or any other way. So someone would argue you down with this and then they would they would use your education to demean you, which is kind of messed up, Scorpio. All right, well, not kind of, it's fucked, okay? What's the Knight of Pentacles here? What's the Knight of Pentacles? The Hermit, okay, interesting. Could also be a Virgo that you're dealing with, but this, this was someone who was very slow to make a move and very distant. Okay, so this is the kind of person, too, who's very alone, very lonely. But you know what I'm getting from this? The reason that this person is so alone, like, this is someone who you you, you um, seem to have no friends. And that's okay. There's, you know, everybody knows that having a lot of friends is, does not mean anything. You know, you can have a lot of friends who are not of quality, you know, quality over quantity. But this person kind of was alone because... I think of their stubbornness and just being kind of like um this kind of gives me like someone was just so like anybody who had emotions they felt like was beneath them i don't know that's what's the knight of pentacles the magician okay hmm. 
This is a very focused individual. If we can talk about the positive traits, they're the magician. So very focused, but also could be a little manipulative at times. What's the magician? What's the magician? The three of cups, okay? Hmm. Um, I don't really want to keep going in on this person, but I have to say with the magician, the three of cups, this is someone who used to, like, okay, okay. This is someone who didn't have a lot of friends because they, they chose to manipulate their, fr their friends. You could even seen this with your own eyes, Scorpio, and you chose not to judge this person or say, say anything, but then this person also did this to you. So they do it to a lot of people around them. What's the hermit? Because it shows the hermit, magician, three of cups. So there's a reason why this person's alone. And I see the magician. It's like this person would like manipulate their friends or use their friends. What's the hermit? The four of swords. That's why this person is all alone. It's like the hermit, the four of swords is being alone or lonely. Someone needs to realize their ways, but they're the nine of pentacles. Okay, because someone cannot look inside themselves and see their flaws, because everybody has flaws, even you, Scorpio, but this person refused to look inside of them and see their own flaws. The ace of wands in reverse. What's the ace of wands in reverse? This is also someone who loses interest quite, quite easily because, oh my God, I'm getting this energy where someone feels like people are just so beneath them or stupid. What's the ace of wands in reverse? Yeah, okay, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Someone is very cold. Very cold. King of Cups here. Emotionally manipulative is what I'm hearing. The Two of Pentacles as well. Indecisive about their energy. One day they would want you, Scorpio. The other day they'd be like, oh, I'm okay. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? The Moon card. This is someone who is very secretive as well. They could also could have um, used to use that against you, knowing that you're a Scorpio. They could say like, oh, you're so secretive. And you'd be like, okay, where's your basis behind that? But I'm telling you, this person projected on you a lot of their things that they had going on was the King of Cups. Ten of Wands. What's the Two of Pentacles? I don't like this energy, Scorps. Eight of Swords, okay? very indecisive okay this person is going through a lot of pain this is why they pick on people eight of swords is like you know this person feels like they don't have anyone to run to this person has a lot of things that they need to release as well so this is giving me like the this is giving me the story of marrying one another because you're starting to become remember i said you're starting to become the king of air or the king of swords and I really would warn you against that because this person is the queen of swords in reverse. You're kind of like being like this person where you're pushing the things that are bothering you or stressing you out or emotionally disrupting you. You're trying to ignore it with that four of cups. This is what this person, this is all this person knows to do is ignore their emotions. This is why they, they are the way they are. If you are to continue that pattern and, and accept that behavior into your life, Scorpio, you're going to be just like this person. I see that this person goes through a lot of pain, the Ten of Swords. They have a lot of hidden pain that they haven't addressed over the years. And it also makes them feel like the Eight of Swords. There's nothing they can do about it. So they just, you know, this is someone who gave, it, gave up on working on themselves. All right, let's clean this up because, you know. Mm. I feel like you're moving on from this person. This is your past person. You're moving on from this person. But I, the, the reason that their energy came up, even if you're dealing with someone new, Scorpio, is because you're mirroring this person's energy. You're becoming in that, that bully energy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to stop using the word bullying. You're becoming in that energy where you're going to start pushing your feelings away. You're going to become cold. Like this ex that you were dealing with. You don't want to be like them. Trust me. All right, let's see what else is coming out. Let's see what the last words is for your homeboy, homegirl. Oh, this is going to be a warning message, Scorpio. Some of you guys are not ready to hear this. But you know what I'm saying now? Think about this person. They don't like to hear advice. They don't like to hear criticism. They don't like to, you know, address the things that are happening with them. Don't be like this person. Give me some last words for this person that Scorpio was dealing with. Give me some last words before we move on to the extended reading. Give me some last words, please. I 
right, let's see. Ooh, shit. That's a lot of cards that just came out. All right, we're done. Miserable without you. Hello, this person's miserable without you, even though they pushed you away, even though they used to pick on you for being emotional and showing them love. This person is miserable without you. This person has no plans on changing their ways. They're stuck in their ways. I really want to tell you, you do not want to be like this, okay? What else? They could also feel you're stuck in your ways. They could go reverse, okay? Um, childhood trauma. This person could have started pushing their feelings away from when they were young. And this is just who they grew up to be because of things that happened in their childhood that they didn't want to address. This could have even been abuse, I'm hearing. Sexual abuse, um, emotional abuse. Some parents could have been, you know, they could have had a um, tough love parent growing up. Um, you also, too, I'm hearing... Um, physical abuse someone could have been hit really badly as a child okay what else do they have here okay you make me angry so this is someone who gets angry very quickly and it's like you know why can't we just talk things out okay this is someone that you couldn't talk things out with it's just i'm angry i don't want to speak because they don't like addressing things that are going on within them this is someone who didn't like your friends or your family they try to isolate you because they were also isolated in their own um life this is someone who their friends and family weren't really around and they used to tell you, I don't like your friends or family and try to isolate you to be like them. You could just not like this person's friends or family. They could not like your friends or family, but this could also be that manipulative energy where someone was like, you know, wanted you to just be by yourself and lonesome like they were. They were have regrets about what they did, okay? They could have also told you you were too clingy, but now they're miserable without you. So this is someone like whenever you try to show them emotion, we're just very cold, you know? This is someone who could be pregnant now, either by you or someone else. It could have been a surprise, okay? Or you're pregnant by them. Leave me alone. I'm pretty sure this person has told this to you plenty of times. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk right now. I don't want you around me. Just very cold energy. Okay. It did feel like you and this person had great chemistry. Whenever you did allow, whenever this person did allow themselves to open up to you, the chemistry was pretty good. And that's probably why you stayed so long. Something significant could be happening this fall between you and them. You could be dealing with the fall, baby. I think that's Libra, um, you, Scorpio, and Sag. Is it Sag? Or is it Virgo? I don't know. All right. Second chance. This person could be asking you for a second chance. So be wary of that. And yeah, point blank period. They miss you. They miss you. All right, Scorpio, so I'm going to take this to the extended. The extended link will be in the description box if you want to follow me there. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, that information will be in the description box as well. Um, and if you want to shop my store, my candles, my jewelry, other products, that will be the first link in the description box. If this resonates with you, please thumbs up the reading. Comment down below for June Tarot. Subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. I love you guys, Scorpio. I'm going to see some of you guys in extended. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.